Yes. Okay. Um, I know the court does not like um, objections through in, in the midst of testimony. There is an officer that is going to be testifying. I have numerous objections to many of his exhibits that are proposed. Who is it? Uh, off, uh, Stoyak, Stoyak. I'm not sure I'm saying Stoyak. I'm Stoyak. Not, Stoyak. Okay. And Your Honor, I I just want to make the record clear. I received all of the materials in this case in over 30 discovery um, sets of discovery given to me. Okay. okay. I went through all the discovery obviously as it came in. Okay. I did not get the exhibits that were being used in this trial. Um, I, they weren't identified. I didn't get them until after day one of jury selection. So I have done my best. Wait a minute, there's a, there's a scheduling order in this case. Judge, all of the exhibits come from the discovery. This digital okay. evidence was turned over two years ago. Well, she doesn't say she didn't have the evidence. I, I'm not saying I didn't have the evidence. I'm saying that it wasn't identified until after day one of jury selection. So I just want the court to know I'm doing my best to object and to handle the I, evidence. I don't envy your job, Ms. Smith, at all. I don't. It's, it's a lot. I don't envy their job either. It, it, the, it, it's sad. It's voluminous. I, I, I know it's very difficult. I know it's very difficult. But so, 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 so tell me what you're asking. Okay, so the, so the issue is I have numerous objections to exhibits they intend to admit. I know the court does not like to have objections, but the, no, that's not true. I didn't, I didn't want to rule on, on uh, uh, I didn't want a surprise ruling on, uh, on a motion this morning. I would have been more prepared and also would have told the jury to come here. I don't like the jury waiting for us. Judge, There's nothing wrong with objecting to an exhibit as um, someone attempts to introduce it. Judge, well, we handed over the exhibit list with very precise pages, and we did that. There wasn't, we weren't required to at a certain time, but we did right. that, I, I think, the first day we were here. Ms. Smith told Mr. Keese she would be providing her exhibit list to us that night. We did not receive it. So I'm not sure what the purpose of providing an exhibit list is if she's not going to actually go through it and say, these are the ones I want to object to, these are the ones I have an issue with, and we can talk about it, and then the court, the court knows that there's something to argue about before we bring the jury in. Your Honor. Okay, uh, okay well, I think that's what she's trying to tell me now. I'm trying to tell you that now, and also, every time we've been off the record, I've had conversation with Mr. Keyes during this next witness. I'm not objecting to any of these exhibits. Mr. Keast, I plan to object to a lot of the photos with okay. Stoic. I haven't talked to Ms. McDonald, but that doesn't mean I haven't communicated to them when I have objections. Okay. That is just misleading, and okay. I'm, I'm tired of it. Okay. okay. I, I'm not, I'm just, okay, I'm not, I'm not making, I'm saying, I just want to know what the objections are so we don't have it. It'd be um, great if we could know that before. Um, can they, how long are we going to be here? Because the jury, I got to release, the jury's waiting for her to be brought down, so. I, I'm, I'm pushing the luck of the deputies here. We have so, a few, a few more things. We're just asking. Let's let's hear what the jury. objections are about the exhibits. The jury. I'm going to release the jury. Okay. For one thing, these walls are not are great with it, and I'm, the deputies are. I'm going to own the deputies doing it so for the rest of my career. Yes. Yeah. Let, let's let the jury go. Okay. Can we let the jury go? Your Honor, I I have just a, a suggestion. I I think there's going to be evidentiary issues with some of these exhibits. Okay. So I'm wondering if maybe the jury should come back at 9:30 on Monday or something. Actually, can you tell the jury to come back at nine? Um, tell the jury to come back at nine. Okay. okay. Yeah. Just right, so we have time. Say. I know the court okay. doesn't want to waste their time. Well, I you know I you do you know, one exhibit at a time. There's nothing wrong with that. People do that in trials all the time, but. Obviously, if we can uh, streamline in any way and not do it while the jury's here and have not, them not moving in and out since there's 17 of them, um, that would be good. I guess I don't know who the first witness is going to be on Monday. There is an officer, Stoyak, who is with what department? Sheriff's office, Judge. We don't know if he'll be first witness. No, and she, she's let us know she has some issues with some of those pictures. Okay. And we'll figure, if she just tells us which ones, then we'll decide if we want to stipulate. If not, then we'll, we can handle it before the, the jury is. Oh, I can already tell you they're not going to stipulate. I, I can tell you we're going to need time on the record. Think, like, okay, well, I think I, the I'm not sure how to respond to that. No, no, wait. I think, that, I think that the prosecutor was asking, saying that you might stipulate to the admission of some of them, right? And you have a right to object to something being, being admitted, right? Right. These, right. Okay, so I'm looking at the list. There's, there's many photos from inside the home 
Okay. That I believe are contrary to the orders this court has already given. Like the messiness, there are irrelevant photos. There are photos of the stairway to the basement, completely irrelevant to this case. Why do we care about the stairway to the basement? Judge, we, Council Knights, she indicated she was going to create a list of which exhibit numbers, they're numbered already, they're numbered, right. and just tell us which one she's object to. We'll review that. If we agree, then we won't, we'll strike them from our exhibit list. Okay, we and talk about this. to talk about it at, at, at um, 8.30 on Monday morning, because maybe we can... can we we can, could get a list before that, then we yeah. might not have to argue about it. Your Honor, part of the problem is, I they won't tell me who they're calling, they gave me the exhibits after the trial, the list of exhibits after the trial started. There's one of me. I have co-counsel that has not been with me this whole ride. And so I'm doing the best I can, and I have to sleep at night. And I've been here for eight hours a day this whole week. I've been here. I've, I've spent many, 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 many hours on this case. Many. And so I know prosecution, I know there's only one of you, but you're also retained counsel. I, I understand that, yeah. but I, I need, and this weekend, thankfully, I'll have time. Okay. I will get them the list of objections, okay. but right, when I nice. when I don't even know which witnesses are being called the next day. Okay, I don't, I, I, I don't know of a rule that obligates them to do that. Okay. And Judge, Judge, you asked us to communicate, and we did. We did. We did. We did. Okay. She, she knew Lance, uh, Wigorowski. was good. I mean, we did tell okay. her. All right. So over the weekend, hopefully they're going to do the same. Over the weekend, will you tell them your your the witnesses are going to come Monday? Will you do that? We, we tell her every single day when she has no, these arguments. But I do. Not if, I can, at night. if I can just finish, okay, I'm I can sure just finish. No, yeah, exactly. We have t we already changed that today. I mean, okay. that does change. But, but we, I, I if, what are you going to tell her about? When we can confirm child care for our witnesses okay. and confirm, we have one person with COVID right now. We have one person out of the state. We're rearranging witnesses in real time. Okay. What objection, non-responsive? Um, can you tell her Sunday by noon? I, I hope to have those answers by then. Sure. And okay. communicate as soon as I have okay. the answers. It's, I, it, I don't think they're obligated to do that. On the other hand, it is a courtesy, and it, it is something that helps the uh, trial move quicker. I, I think it should just be fair. It would For instance, also, we oh don't no, have, we don't want this we, to be. We don't, have a, we don't have an exhibit list from the defense. She said she provided um, the same time we did that night. We don't have it. We just, I didn't we just say want to I be was provided that night, and okay. I didn't know what exhibits I would need until I saw your list, and I haven't had time this week because we've been in court okay. or... Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I, I'm obligated to be fair to both sides, right? I, I the, this exhibit list, regardless of when you got it, to me has been very helpful. It's descriptive of thank you where and when and because you know some of the you can some of them all yeah, like that. some I, of them I, overlap, right? Your Honor, I I don't disagree, but also okay. some of mine don't match what's been put up on the screen. Like it's it, it's not as simple and as clear cut. I have this weekend, which is going to give me time. Okay, okay good, good. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're going to communicate with you, and if you tell them which ones you object to, um, I don't know if I've seen some of these. Some of these are in the house. Some of them might be relevant. Some of them might not be. I don't think you've seen any of them. Yet. What's that? I don't think you've seen any of them. No. So, Judge, listen. If she just make a list, we'll be happy to review it with her. So you don't okay. have to. Please. Okay. So you're going to be here at eight thirty on Monday morning. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk about as many exhibits as possible. In general, they they, they can go question and answer and all that. But if, if we can agree on some beforehand, I'm just going to pray that by Monday morning there are no issues. Can I do that? Can I go to the river in Egypt? Judge, regarding Exhibit 423, counsel, yeah. counsel indicated that there are certain messages she wants redacted. Counsel can indicate those what messages they are. We'll be happy to redact them before the actual exhibit is turned over to the, um, the jury. Thank you. I think that um, it was uh, based on uh, messages that were already excluded via uh, previous motions. And I don't recall any specific me messages Previously excluded by this court from Exhibit 423. Hang on, it would be hard for me to compare this right now to my to my orders. Right, that's why if counsel is requesting for it to be redacted, I just ask counsel tell us what to be redacted so we can do it. Okay, I, Your Honor, then I just I need them to send me this proposed exhibit. You have it. You already have it. 423. Yep, you had it in January of 22. 
messages okay. between. Wait a second. Wait, do you guys want to? You, someone said they want all the. It's you, the Facebook you said messages. I'm they want all the Instagram messages between the defendants. And that's what you Facebook. Said. Facebook. And that's Facebook. Your Honor, that's totally fine. All we have to do is make them compliant with the other orders of the court that have already excluded evidence. Okay, that, that's fine. You yeah, I'll ask for it to come in. But I, I, yeah. I'm asking them to give me the original file. Of 423, because I don't have 423, and I will go through and redact it. I'll do it tonight. Judge, okay, but they you have it. Just, you can't just redact it. They have to. They have to know. Well, I. Judge, I'll <laughs> mark the, off the, what the truth. The redacted. truth should matter. She has 423. It's the entire Facebook message string between Jennifer Crumbly and James Crumbly. It's the thing that she piles up. She has that string. So I. The court would like we can produce a proof of service first thing Monday morning. No, and I'm I'm not saying I okay I do have it in the in the evidence I don't have it they're talking about it as if they've given me a 423 they ha they haven't it's it's buried in the stacks of evidence okay that's fine I'll dig it out I will go through it tonight exactly. I will let them know what I want redacted okay. all I want is yeah. redacted we provide a digital copy a I, I don't understand. There's a thumb drive that has 420. Yeah. yeah, they handed it to me today while we've been in court for eight hours. Okay, so okay it's, but you're the one who asked for it to be admitted, right? You're the one who asked for it to be admitted, so, which, which I'm happy to do if everybody agrees. So, all right. Everybody. Wait, we have just a couple more things here. Uh-oh, here comes the cavalry. What else? Just one, one thing I think is important. I ask this court to instruct counsel to show the appropriate decorum in this particular case. The jokes indicating I'm going to kill myself in a joking manner. I'm drinking five bottles, bottles of wine. wine. It's just we there are parents who had their children murdered in this in this courtroom, and we are the people who I, communicate I, with them after we leave here. I said something about wine because I was looking at her exhibit and it was teetering, and I was trying to nicely suggest that I would like you But making a joke about killing yourself in this courtroom at this time, I understand. I'm I sure didn't it mean it like that. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I did she not mean stop it like yelling that. that, that I, I, don't I did not mean it, it like that. And they know I didn't mean it like that. Okay. We, we're, we're responding to literally just sitting here, the amount of messages we get from victims in the community. And I just think just to be at a, a abundance of, of respect and caution, if we could just not say things like that. I'm you not are, I'm not accusing anyone of any malice or any bad intent. I'm just asking that we just not engage in that because this is hard enough for the people who are sitting here now and who will be sitting here next week. I understand. It's very hard. Your Honor, I am not joking around about anything. Okay, I think it was a slip of the tongue. It was a slip of the tongue, right? Um, emotions are, are running high. Um, I, we also, a lot of people are, are, are saying you can need to have a shooter. But, but Your Honor, I do want to make a point. I, I'm not making an objection because I, I'm, my emotions are running high. In fact, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not having an emotional response here. I am simply asking that we be respectful to victims. That's it. Your Honor, I am being respectful. So to be that is implying I'm being disrespectful. Me saying I'm going, I'm going to kill myself. I didn't mean in any way to offend. I know you did. These families. I know you did. It was a slip on the tongue. She's just, she's. Just, it was absolutely not related to them. I know. This shooting is awful. It's the prosecution that's parading all of this up here and putting parading. The, the shooting is the result of the defendant's gross negligence. That is the case. Okay. They are the ones putting the victims. Okay. Everybody needs to, seeing all of this over, over and over oh, and over. And over. Whoa. So, Everybody needs to go home. Everybody needs to go home. That, All right. I understand, right. but we're we're not putting victims through anything. That, and I, I'm sorry, but that just because everybody's disagreeing doesn't mean everyone is inappropriate. We we aren't putting victims through everything. We're prosecuting our case, okay. and we're trying to do it in and the most she, efficient way. And she's defending her case. I, I I think that was a slip of the tongue. Everybody needs to take a deep breath and go home. Everybody go home. I'm going home. All right. Thank you.